Ulu Kara was 42? That's insane. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself. Yo, we back on the tier list and we got best anime main characters, okay? First round, we got two jujitsu on here, right? Of course, Gojo's gonna take that. Come on now, like, that's his body, bro. Come on. <laughs> no Diddy. <laughs> no Diddy. I don't even know, bro. I can't remember. I'm just going with Johan. Oh yeah, this was uh, Yu Yu, right? Yeah, Yu Yu. Yu Yu Hakusho. Yu Yu Hakusho again, bro. Yusuke, Mirio. Bro, come on now. You ain't beating Yusuke. You're not beating Yusuke. He is such a, he's a better main character. Levi, sorry Hinata. Yeah, you know, you was Naruto's girl and all, but that still ain't enough pull to be beat Levi. Levi literally had the whole army's weight and his commander setting on his shoulders to finish the mission. Come on now. He had he had all of this weighing down on him because he couldn't clutch. He could not clutch the Beast Titan in what season was it? Somebody let me know. I think it was like season three. He couldn't clutch the Beast Titan and he was killing himself because he couldn't do it. And you know what? I ain't gonna say nothing. Levi. Uh, if y'all seen him, this dude is from like the the Astro Boy little uh you know what's it called uh I, I like his main character more than miram i like i like him elaine and thors i mean what the f come on now what did elaine even do really she's there for bond okay thors is there for his son come on now aki and Jin. Jin, he was like a piece of and then not a piece of but a piece of shit, right but aki aki got it this ain't even bro if anything atachi is top five to be honest atachi is top five. Oh, kilowa and guts if i had chat open i'm pretty sure guts is taking that i am pretty sure oh no don't do this don't do this our boy right here on the wall i'm sorry the best right hand you could ever have is zoro but the best mentor teacher you could ever have is jiraiya man bro right hand best friend or teacher mentor he go zoro going to the grave with you but then again jiraiya gonna die for you too but then you yeah, Zoro. I gotta give it to Zoro. He gonna be live. He gonna be with me the whole time. Ask a lad. Easy. Gohan or the Hime, bro. She's always a damsel in distress, and the photo that they used is really like the photo of her being in distress. <laughs> Yo, Gohan. Go on. Doflamingo, bro. Villain. The villain, bro. That the dude was so mad. He used his ability to put the whole island within a cage and he was ready to kill everybody. What did she do? In comparison. Bon and I don't even know what I don't know who this is. I'm sorry. I can't remember. You're gonna have to give it to Bon by default. Sinchi. Unless it's the Sinchi from Parasite, it's Sanji, bro. Uh Griffith. Aizen another main villain right there the bro was catching bodies makima she was offing people without even being there uh netaro again another good teacher he's staying on business i do think you know he cheated against miram reza mm, i'm gonna have to give it to netaro hughes and endeavor mm best character if you're caught up in the manga i feel like endeavor had like some of the best character development you know they haven't really shown it in the anime so far because he's still kind of like a broken human being so superhuman being so i'm gonna give it to endeavor bradley scary bro if you seen bro bradley was scary dude the dude was like 1v1 in tanks was he not Correct me if I'm wrong. Wasn't he like 1v1 in tanks and stuff? Like, come on. L. He got that brain power, bro. He'll outsmart you. He'll 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 convince you to kill yourself. And so will Light. 
But dang. Hisoka. I mean, Hisoka had some, some problems, bro. He had, like, some little kid problems. He had some CP problems, so. Unfortunately, even though his character was cool, he was pretty much a badass, all Light gotta do is write his name in there. You know what I mean? He's seen his face, write his name, you're done. He had, he, I mean, I, obviously these aren't, like, verses on powers, but I'm pretty much, you know, going off of, like, who I remember, just so you know that I'm not just clicking people just to click, you know what I mean? Like, Lelouch Todoroki. This is hard. Not really, because Lelouch is, I think, is a better character. The dude was a genius. Lelouch was a genius. Reiner. Ryuk was funny. It's like, we go with, like, seriousness and, like, a brotherly figure to... You know, Shinigami comedic spirit that is just bored and just wants to see the world, like, burn. You know what I mean? So, as far as, like, the character goes, I think Ryuk. The dude was just trying to have fun. Erwin, him, you know, Erwin, bro. The guy was putting on for his squad. You know what I mean? Like, he was somebody you wanted to look up to. But she was, you know, didn't she, like, throw up in Denji's mouth? Or was that somebody else? Wasn't that her? Mm. She did give... She saved Aki's life. She didn't have enough screen time, to be honest, for even to me, like, to say that she's, like, a better character than Erwin. Come on, now. She needs more screen time. She needed more screen time. Ooh! Ulu, Kiera, and Spike. As far as characters go... He was my favorite Espada. In Bleach, hands down, he is my favorite Espada. But Spike, you know, Spike, he he was, you know, mad, mad in love, hunting all these other people, bringing them in for bounties and stuff. But Ilukera, he was a badass character. Didn't even care about any of the other Espada. And one of the strongest, Whitebeard and Aaron. This is easy. Aaron is a well Aaron is a better well-written character than Whitebeard. Like hell, we barely I mean we don't really know a whole lot about Whitebeard and I'm pretty sure we're going to be finding out a lot more later on in the manga. The show is over. The show is done. It's a masterpiece. Aaron's character development is insane. The dude was such a little pansy. You know, he's just a little crybaby in the beginning. And then finally, whenever he touched uh, what's her name's hand or kissed her hand, he just was like, you know, he had, he's, you could really tell he had seen shit. And this is the, you know, this is the outcome that we had. And a, a badass character. This was, that was the fucking Aaron that I've always wanted to see. And we got him. Nanami and Piccolo. Hmm. I'm just getting flooded right now of all the memories of Piccolo. Piccolo was really the father that stood up because Goku wasn't even taking care of his own kid. So I'm going to have to give it to Piccolo. Like dead ass. Dude, <laughs> the dude was a father to somebody else's kid when he really didn't want to. And, you know, he even took care of Goku. Pain and Mustang, bro. The Even the cover photo that they use for Mustang feels a little biased because we all know how bad Mustang is. And if you haven't watched... Full Metal Alchemist or Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, you need to get on it. I'm probably about to rewatch it, but Mustang, bad. Dude was bad. Pain's also bad. Don't get me wrong. I mean, the fact that this guy is always trying to off himself before he even, like, you know, before it's really, really over for him, bro, is always, you know what I'm saying? They need to change his hands instead of doing the, uh, instead of doing this, they need to switch him to. <laughs> Because this man is always trying to throw it up. He always throwing it up. Oh, man. Gojo Ulukiera. Well, I've read how far, you know, Gojo makes it into the series. And Ulukiera, his time came too. As far as cool characters go, this is tough. I wish Ulukiera would have made it a little bit further, but Gojo is going to take it. Mm, Mustang takes that one. Askalad, the other father that stepped up. Megami and Itachi. Bro, it would be criminal of me to pick Megami over Itachi. 
yeah like Megami's funny throwing up his gang signs you know like right at the very end whenever he's getting his ass whooped but Itachi never really had to you know resort to desperation like desperate attempts and trying to do like any types of summoning you know because they could both do summonings both of them can but this dude he he could held his he could held his he, he was holding his own bro he was holding his own he 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 annihilated his whole village his i mean his clan megami could can't do that he could not do that <laughs> but we know another woman in the series who can you know what i'm saying but this dude did it he actually did it so clearly itachi's taking that mm, endeavor no endeavor ever endeavor had a better endeavor was cooler he was cool he is a better character yusuke over light I liked Yusuke better. I, I think uh, personally myself, I felt like I related more to Yusuke. You know, I can't really say I've ever related to Light. You know what I'm saying? I never had I never had a notebook of people I wanted to kill. <laughs> uh, I, uh, you know, like doing relations like that. I don't think this type of you know falls into this. So I guess we're just gonna stick to cooler characters, but Yusuke, Yusuke had that swag, boy. Light was always in uniform. He was a kind of like a Poindexter, you know what I mean? But ain't nothing wrong with being a Poindexter, you know what I'm saying? But Yusuke had that drip. That boy was cool. That dude was like he had that he had the highs. So we got we got Yusuke, Levi over Makima. I mean, come on. Levi takes it, like I said. Makima, she's cool. You know, she was running the corporate. She was a top of the corporate ladder. You know what I'm saying? She low key evil. She cute, and what I mean low key, she was low key evil for the people around her, but for us watching her, oh, she was straight evil. That girl was straight evil. So we gonna have to go with Levi. Levi was just cool, like bro. Whenever um Levi went through that whole chase scene with uh. The other dude, that was tight. That was tight. Aizen over guts. Aizen's cool, you know. He got that he got that little hair thing in the way, you know what I'm saying? He was cool, but guts was going through hell and back. Literally. He probably went to hell 50,000 times. Thors and Aki. His his name was known throughout the throughout the lands. Not Aki. Aki was kind of like, you know, they made fun of him. You know, he wasn't, he's not like top tier, the, the best or nothing like that, you know, but Thor's is Thor's is it. Ah, father and son, because we all know that Goku is not Gohan's father. It's Piccolo. Piccolo, between father and son, cooler character, best character. I think Gohan, Gohan is it. Oh no, oh no. If I'm ever put into an AI world and I get to talk to AI Zoro and Sanji, they're probably going to pull up this video and then start a beef with me. Because, you know, if you watch One Piece, you already know that these two, they love each other. They'll die for each other, but they will also kill each other. <laughs> so um, I'm going to have to go with Zoro, bro. The dude, whoever made this, like this is a bad picture. They could have used a different picture of Sanji because... If, if someone hadn't watched the show and they just wanted to go ahead and rate these two, I'm pretty sure they're picking Zoro because they're like, oh, this guy looks more badass than this guy. Netero and Ryuk. Seeing Netero's backstory, how he like trained and when he was in the field, uh, like that green field and was practicing all his moves and stuff, that was tight. The dude was not somebody to mess with. So I feel like Netero gets that one. Delush and Doflamingo. To me, this one's easy, and like I said, the more screen time that you have of a character, the more you can see them develop, right? So we've seen Doflamingo for like 100 plus episodes in the Dressrosa arc, but we got to see Lelouch too because he was the main character of the anime. And to, for me, to be honest, Lelouch, he always had me get like, you know, trying to guess what he was gonna do next. So I'm gonna have to get to Lelouch. Excuse me, excuse me. Mm. Bon and L. Bon is probably one of my favorite characters in Seven Deadly Sins, if not top three, you know, between, not in order, Meliodas, Bon, 
and Escanor. I think because those those three right there, they're like a powerhouse, bro. They're like if I was making if I was having generals, they would be the top three. As far as cool characters go, Bon or L. I'm gonna have to give it to L. <laughs> Giving it to L. Erwin and Bradley, bro. I really want to rewatch Full Metal now because the dude, the dude had aura. And so did Erwin. Erwin had aura too. You know what I mean? They both, they, like, these are both like generals, you know, in a sense. These are both like commanders. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are both commanders. But, bro, yeah. So, so since, like I said, these two are both like big in the military of their anime. You know what I'm saying? General Bradley and Commander Erwin, right? So in in high ranking i'm gonna have to give it to the general but as far as their characters go bradley tight shit Ooh, bro i'm doing these pit these fights i'm doing it to myself with these fights bro but aaron come on now look at this picture bro he's such a bad look how look how cold his eyes are i like how they colored in to make it look like you know the dude has he's just like deathly eyes like bro don't get no sleep at all and then bradley ain't got an eye Bradley got one eye. Aaron's a cooler character. Aaron showed up, you know what I'm saying, to like their whole military gathering where they were doing like the generals and the speeches and stuff and just was body slamming the civilians and people in the stands. The dude is crazy. Between Mustang and Ascalad, they both wanted revenge. They both had to get their get back. And they both did get their get back. But who was the better character? <sighs> they both had cool moments, bro. He had to snap, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like he had them explosive ass. If you seen how many times they he lit that man up, go look. The dude's crazy. And then Ascalad, you know what I'm saying? He did his thing, approached the king, and stood on business. I'm gonna have to give it to Ascalad. Ah, Itachi. Not even, bro. Gojo. These are these these kind of get easier, you know what I mean? Like whenever you whenever you weigh these two people's auras next to each other, you can you can kind of already tell who's gonna win. You know what I mean? like this right here this is just this is just so easy this is so easy to pick i feel like if it's just that the more episodes you give somebody the more opportunities you give that person to be more badass you know what i'm saying so i gotta give it to zoro bro man as a kid i was popping my fucking veins out of my forehead eyes turning red trying to turn super saiyan trying to chase after and reach go like gohan's state of being you know what i'm saying come on now gotta give it to gohan Yusuke and Guts. I'm gonna have to give it to Guts, bro. I don't remember too much. You know? I barely remember a whole lot about Yusuke. Like, this this anime came out in, like, 1997 or something like that. Didn't it? 1995. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Guts. Lelouch. Thoris. Lelouch. This man literally had, like, wanted to conquer the galaxy. Ooh. Guts and Itachi. We made it far. We made it this far. But come on, Itachi was so strong. Everyone was afraid of their Keke Genkai, right? Did I say that right? The Sharingan. And they, they knew that this dude had to do something about it. And they picked the best one for it. This is my Hokage. Sorry, Naruto. But yeah, this is my Hokage right here. It's not, bro. Not even a. Not even a. Now, now, hold on. I'm not even looking. I think this is the last round, right? So it is Aaron and Itachi, right? Nope. Oh, it's not. Okay. <laughs> I thought we were on the last round. Um, Lelouch and Zoro. Easy, bro. Zoro is such an easier character, bro, to get that. Gojo and Gohan. So everything that I know about Gojo is still fresh, you know, like in my head. I'm trying to remember all the moments of Gohan. Damn, I'm gonna have to give I'm gonna have to give it to Gojo. If it was Goku, I'm picking Goku. Aaron over Itachi. Okay, this is hard. It's hard because I'm thinking about coolest, most badass, like most memorable, most role model-esque, like most notorious. And these two knock off all of that. All of it. They are both notorious. Everybody was after them. Both of them. Y'all let me know what y'all think. You know. This, this is kind of a coin flip for me. You know what I mean? This is kind of a coin flip. They, It's not like Aaron was straight up evil. The dude had a good heart. You know what I mean? He had people he loved and he was doing it for a reason. Like almost the same thing as how Itachi did. They both, he, he committed genocide against his entire clan. What did he do? He did the whole world. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to give it to Aaron. 
I'm gonna have to give it to Aaron. He did what like Atachi did, but times times a hundred. <laughs> Gojo and Zoro. For the people who have not finished One Piece, you do not get to have an opinion on this pick. Okay? Because it's Zoro. I'm just telling you right now, it's Zoro. Alright? Jujutsu Kaisen has like what? 50 episodes? Something like that? Zoro's been in what would probably be 800 episodes at least. So he's had way more moments of bad ass. He had way more moments of character development, way more moments of doing crazy sh being funny, funny moments. A lot of people are going to be like, oh, yeah, Gojo did this, Gojo did that. He's so cool. He's so suave, blah, 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 bro. All you see is the white hair and the blue eyes and you just start glazing. But between I've, I've watched all of Jujutsu Kaisen and read up, caught up with the manga. I've watched all of One Piece and I'm still currently reading the manga, catching up on the manga so unless you have seen both of these i do not want to hear you or see you in my comment section okay it's Zoro. okay aaron and Zoro. i'm surprised luffy ain't in here why isn't luffy in here because i mean to be honest i want to say aaron gets it as a better character you know what i mean aaron is a better character than Zoro. Zoro can't even turn a corner without getting lost yeah that just kind of shows that he's kind of dumb whenever it comes to direction and doesn't really pay attention but i feel like it's all calculated you know what i mean like he gets lost and then does a side mission somewhere he'd he, he be doing side quests his character had me guessing every single season i i felt like i was so lost and didn't know what was going on with aaron if up until the very end whenever it decided you know when it all clicked and finally made sense and i was like oh makes sense as to why he went from being a scared ass bitch to a straight up savage the dude even even the opening the anime the the opening song to season four uh what was it the rumbling whenever they were showing aaron on top of the wall walking the dude looked like a straight back aaron number one was guts and aaron was number two Oh, I had good picks, bro. I had good picks. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I had two top five picks. I think Guts was in there too. I think I had Guts in top five. One, two, three. Bro, I'm goaded. And Zoro was number seven. Goaded. Goaded. Nanami. Nanami was number 12. Bro, y'all are some... Okay. some Y'all are some JJK riders bro i'm telling you how you got nanami over aizen who else who else is who else made an outrageous pick i can see this i can i can i can see killua over jiraiya i can see that ulukera was 42 that's insane y'all should be ashamed of yourself this list was made by zero underscore 96 that's a good list, bro. 